Ion Machine. Hello everyone. In this video tutorial we will show you how to use the Ion Machine software to monitor the statistics of your work center with TPA control system. First we display the upper toolbar, which has six features that help us configure the application. Under the main toolbar we have five tabulators which, once selected, show us the desired page. The tab general presents a table with a description of the data relating to the machine axis, the RPM of the spindle, the tool currently mounted on the spindle, the feed rate, the program currently running, the status of the machine and the conditions of the machine such as the machine in start or the emergency condition. The second tab that we find, the tab usage, provides us with all the information relating to the toolware with which the machine is equipped the executed programs and the number of holes drilled per tip. The third tab, the tab summary, describes the overall productivity of the machine. We can select an interval within which you want to view both the quantity of programs executed, and which of these specifically. This happens through a graph that with different shades helps us to understand the periods in which the machine has worked the most, with the aim of being able to improve production performance. The tab report allows us to view the report files on the calendar that we find. It is possible to select with the mouse one or more days with the red dot by examining in detail the system errors. There are four tables. The first shows us the list of times the WSCM, which is the interface software for the machine operator, started on the selected day. The second shows us the times the machine was powered up. The third shows us the times the WSCM has run a list of programs and the fourth tells us the times in which the WSCM has run a single program. Finally we have the tab errors, which allows us to view the machine error files. After selecting the path where the error files are present, a graphical view of the same will be shown. On the calendar, you can select the desired days and in this way a table will be compiled with the list of related errors and a graph representing the number and time at which these occurred, highlighting the time range of errors in the background. I hope this video has been of help to you. I invite you to search our YouTube channel, or on our Facebook page for other video tutorials of the TPA software, or of our other applications.